All right, back again. This time I'm going to focus on... Uh, we did pistols last time, right? So this time I'm going to focus on shotguns. Let's get started. All right, what should I use? See, um, what I was thinking of for break action, I was going to do the um, MTS 255s, but the problem is, is that I'm left-handed. And this is a righty gun, so not really my style. And besides, I mean, you know, it's not traditionally brake action. What I would want would be something like the brake action shorty or one of these bad boys right there, the double barrel. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go with the Wells 1864 because it's pretty cool. <laughs> I really like this one. I know it's not, I, I know everybody, like a lot of people don't like this one, but uh, I do. I especially like the little uh, shell holders on the side there. And, uh, if I just want to, I can take those. You know, act like a little Mad Max going on here. It looks uh, looks like a post-apocalyptic kind of weapon, which is, uh, you know, kind of appropriate for some of the modes here since it's, uh, oh, well, with Rot Wieners especially, so. Because that's set in a post-apocalypse. Just going to stick these two on there. But yeah, I kind of like this, so this will be the first weapon. Let's take that in the vault. Scan. And we're done. Good stuff. On to the next one. Let's go with tube fed. All right. Which one will I take? It'd be really easy to go with a SPOS 12 or the uh, M1014. Because those are, I think, uh, um, let me see, hold on. I just want to make sure. This is, uh, this is semi-automatic, right? If I remember correctly. It's boss 12 and the uh, M1014. Yeah, semi-automatic, right? Yeah, that's pretty nice. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the 590A1 pump because of the fact that there is an attachment here. Where is it? Decorative? No, it's not decorative. It's been a while. Hold on. Uh, melee bayonet. Here we go. We can put the M9 bayonet on... Uh, wait, hold on. There we go. <laughs> on this pump action. I mean, you can also do that with the other ones, of course, but I mean, I kind of like the look of the M9 bayonet. So, you know, <laughs> I just do. And plus it's got this little neat uh, little shell holder in the, the stock here, which is pretty cool. Stick that in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine plus one that's ten so let's do five here i think that's five i don't need those anymore three four five okay two three four five seven eight nine and there One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. 
controllers together there. So yeah, that's why I like this, uh, this shotgun. So anyways, let's put some attachments on this thing. Coincidentally, uh, I've never actually tried putting a suppressor on this thing, so... <laughs> uh, we can try that right now. Let me just, uh... Get the Hitman suppressor here. Alright. Pretty cool. Nice Hitman suppressor. Oops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just, uh, Liking how that sounds. But uh, the, th the thing is, with a suppressor, it kind of uh, defeats the purpose of the uh, bayonet, so I might not do it with a suppressor. Although I could install a muzzle device. A little muzzle brake. Uh, hmm. This looks pretty nice. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> oh, there's nothing in there. Um, you just go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, I just love uh, firing this weapon. It's pretty fun. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's weird. A lot of people would probably say, why not just, you know, use a SPAS or the, uh, you know, the other semi-automatic uh, shotgun. But I know I have a soft spot for this one. So yeah, I might just, uh, let me see. Maybe there's a shorter suppressor I could use. Uh, no, that's still going to... Uh, well, you know, shotgun doesn't really need a suppressor. At least, uh, you know, in my opinion, because you want that loud, you know, you want that loudness, right? Just, uh... Oh! All right, so what else can I do uh, with this? I might put in a red dot sight on this. Although I could stick with some iron sights. Maybe uh, put in uh, the shotgun sight for this. Keep it uh, basic, you know? Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Let's go with a... Let's see, reflex sight here. Hmm. Maybe. And then if uh, things get a little too hairy, 
and the uh, enemies get a little up to uh, too up close and personal, you can use a bayonet, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this looks uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Just fill up the uh, magazine here, and of course, if I need to spawn, or you know, what should we call it? If you uh, save a weapon in the vault, it usually comes with its own magazine, but since it doesn't, you know, with, with those other um, weapons, uh, other other shotguns, you have to, uh, how do you uh, unlock the, there we go. Press up on the touchpad to unlock the uh, the uh, pump or whatever, uh, there's, a pro there's a name for it, but I forgot what it was. And you have to uh, eject the round so you can spawn lock it but for this you know you just take out the empty round you know stick that in your quick belt slot so i'm gonna go with that let's uh scan that there we go throw that in the trash for now all right magazine fed all right there's a lot of choices here could go with a standard a12 awg but I'm gonna go with a scalpel because uh, this this is a really nice looking nice looking uh, shotgun here. Look at that; it's pretty cool. <laughs> at least I think so. And I uh, will spawn a magazine. Which, right there, I actually want to change the ammunition in the magazine. Come on. There we go. 12 gauge. What do I want to put on this? I think this is the Swag 12 uh, high explosive. But. Hmm. Should I go with the triple hit? Yeah, all right, I'll stick with a triple hit. And uh, let's uh, customize this, uh, this awesome looking gun even further. Let me see, what can I add to this thing? Oh, I completely forgot about the underbarrels. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna use them on the rifles. But uh, for now, let me get a stock for this thing. I go with a PP2000, like that squareness of it. Pretty cool. All right, what am I gonna use for this? Should I go with the uh, red dot tall? Hmm. I think I might put it right there. Hmm, maybe not. Let's go with the PK-23. All right, I like that look. But we could always use something else. Let me see. Hmm. The game point would be really good. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the uh, MRS for right now. Let me just uh, check this out. Put it right there, I guess. Although I am going to extend this uh, front rail here. Let's get a rail adapter. Let's uh, extend it a bit. Hmm, like this. Maybe not. Let me just uh, replace that with a shorter one. Doing lots of deliberation here. So 
So if I want to grab the uh, weapon like this, that huh? okay. <clears throat> oh, I wish I could use the uh, one of these kind of uh, uh, foregrips, but uh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, I like the look. That's why you know the the whole squareness of it. <laughs> it's pretty cool looking to me. Uh, what should I use? Thompson, a little wood furniture on this thing now. Let's see. Would that be okay? Something like that there. Four grip large would be. Oh, that's a little too large. Although, I can just remove this and come on. That further. Put it backwards. No. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that. Uh, mini foregrip. Let's see. SG with an added rail on it. Good. Go back to the short extender. Move that there like that. How does that feel? I'm not really, I'm not really feeling it. Let's drop that. Oh man, which one should I use? The MX-4. Uh, maybe not. UC-9. Vector. Oh. I really, well, you know what? Let me just try that, uh, that Thompson foregrip. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a, uh, hold on, wait a minute. Let's go to the stock here. Let's just remove this for a minute. Let's see if we can, uh, we just try a little something here. Oh yeah, that looks terrible. No, that, to me, to me, that looks terrible. What about some of these other, uh, it's just so thin, you know? Hmm. Yeah. Not gonna use that. Oh, get out of there. The little boxy stock. <laughs> That's what I call it. Although I kind of, I mean, I do like the, uh, the aesthetic, but it being the only wooden furniture on this, on this, uh, you know, it's just kind of, kind of wrong. I wish we had more stock options. Stock options. <laughs> oh, well. Go with one of these. Get a little more futuristic. Hmm, maybe not. Oh man, so many, so many choices. I mean, I think I have it narrowed down to like either maybe the Vector 45 or the QC9. Where's that extender? Give me that extender. Oh, I'm also going to uh, suppress this because, uh, well, maybe not suppress it. Let's, uh, let's try the uh, shroud. Oh yeah. That looks, uh, it's a little too long, but, um, hmm. oh yeah, that looks kind of, that looks kind of terrible. Might not go with one of these. <clears throat> Could use the Uzi suppressor. Well, you know, what? let's try the salvo. Oh, I could do a chainsaw grip, maybe on the side. It'll look kind of weird, but, 
Oh, come on. Get off. There we go. Hmm. No, not that one. No. Get up. Get away from here. Let me just throw this away. Get rid of these big uh, stocks here. Oh, well. This is, um... Maybe if it was angled like that? No. Get rid of that for right now. Although, I might go with the um, angled grip. Alright, well, you know what? I'll just uh, stick with that for now. <laughs> this is uh, customizing guns. Alright, some lasers. I need a laser here. What I can do is, um, I, what I like about uh, this weapon is that there are no front sights. So I can just stick one of these babies on there. In fact, I'll just do what I did before. Stick this laser right here, and I'll stick this on top of the laser. And we'll just adjust the reticule. Reticle, sorry. ready. <laughs> I say reticule. I don't know why I say that, but it's reticle. I want to cross. Do I want to cross or do I want to circle? Circle and a dot. Just a dot. I'm not really a fan of the dot. I do like the cross though. Got a laser on there. All right. What else can I add to this thing? Actually, hold on. Um, wait a minute. I think I might sneeze, so if you hear me sneeze, then, uh, you know. Huh. Should I do that, or should I use the, um, power key, shorter version? Huh. Oh, no, come on. There we go. All right. Should I uh, maybe spawn? Let's see. <laughs> it would be funny if I just spawn like a uh, cannonball or dragon's breath or something. And uh, use that like a utility one. But no, I think I might go with a um, swag 12. Stick that in there. Actually, no, 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 I don't want to do that yet. Let's uh, test this out. Although, I could, theoretically, spawn the uh, HE. That. No, no, come back here. Or, you know what? Maybe I might just go with a buckshot. Double lot. Spawn that baby on there. Just nice, you know, nice, effective little crowd control. Round. Oh wait, this is empty, right? Yep. Hmm. Okay. Kind of like that. Pretty cool. Hmm. What else can I add to this thing? Oh. Oh no. Uh. Might have accidentally gotten rid of that. There we go. I need to do that. Right. I was thinking of uh, maybe putting a. Uh, oh. I hit my wall. 
I want to break my controllers. I was thinking of maybe putting a, uh, a light on this thing, but um, you know what? I'm just going to keep it as is. For now, maybe later, if I uh, really want to, I can add a light to it, but... There we go. All right, let me just clear this scene. And then, what do we have next lever action? And there's only really one lever action that I want. And that's the uh, 1887 Shorty, the T2 variant. Well, Terminator 2 there. And instead of the triple hit, which I just used, I'm going to... Uh, Try some. Let's try flechette. Let's see if that works. Let's see, cartridge. Oh, there we go. Um, okay. Still getting used to that new, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, lever action. Action. Kind of, uh, I'm still, like I said, getting used to it. Makes firing easy, but, uh, reloading is kind of strange to me. As long as I keep it open on the last round, I can do it. But like, uh, for example... Once you close it... You know, it's like... God. I gotta remember that I can just, like... Just hold the trigger on this hand when it's gripping the uh, foregrip. And open up the... Uh, Without having to usually, you had to put the hammer down. Because you can't. See? So you have to put the hammer down. But I, I keep forgetting that there's a trigger there. I don't know, it's it's a weird thing. It's just, it's me. I'm, I still gotta get used to it, but... Alright. Now yeah, there's nothing you can really do about this. Actually, hold on. Can you uh, add a suppressor to this? It's been a while since I used one of these. You can. Okay. Uh, not the QC9. Let's not use one of these. Let's go with a. Uh, let's go with a, one of them retro suppressors. Let's try the short B. Whoa. Where did my gun go? I don't know what happened there. All right. Oh yeah, this is going to be really hard now with the suppressor since it's... If I'm, if I'm going to try to spin cock it, I got to watch out for that. Oh, there we go. All right, that's as uh, much as I can do with that. Can't really add any new things. Oh, well, maybe I could put a bayonet or something. Let me just uh, get rid of this. Let me let me try a bayonet. Could be also like a used as a, a melee weapon with the bayonet. So. Mosin? You don't want a long one? Long one would be kind of weird. No, let's not do that one. Oh, come on. Get out of here. The Enfield. Get a little bit of a, you know, a little stabbing action there. <laughs> Go up straight to a, a sausage or something and stab. And then shoot him. Oh, I really want to try that out. Now, if you had two of these... oh. There's my wall again. 
Ah, uh, this game, you know, you, sometimes you forget you're in a virtual reality. But yeah, you can get two of these. Reloading them is going to be pretty hard, though, if you have two of them. But it could be real useful melee weapons. If you really wanted to. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I kind of like that little... It looks really... I don't know, to me, it looks really tough with that uh, bayonet. Little, just a little spike jutting out, you know? It's almost like a gun blade, but... Uh, not quite. <laughs> so now you have like, yeah, you know. That's actually uh, pretty cool. I, I really, I didn't really think of this until now. But someone probably beat me to it. But that's pretty cool, a little bayonet at the end. You can use it, uh, just like that. Just thrust, you know. Huh. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm going to save that. <laughs> Scan that. It's got a bayonet on it. And if you have two of them, oh, now you have two uh, stabbing weapons. Huh, that's kind of weird. Well, whatever. Let me just put that away. All right, so I think that's all the shotguns. Might as well start with the uh, SMGs. Let me just check how much time I've uh, spent in this thing. Whoops. Move back a bit. Uh, let's see. 31 minutes. Huh. All right. Well, maybe I think I should stop it there and uh, start up another video for the SMGs and the rifles. So, yeah. All right. See you guys later.